All right, you guys, welcome back. So as promised, we're testing out the Igloo ICF 80 dual zone with the EcoFlow 160 watts. Pretty sunny, partial clouds, nothing crazy. And the River 2 Pro. So uh, to give you a reference, River 2 Pro is at 86%. 120 watts, about 115, 120 watts are being drawn in, and about 50 watts are being outputted via DC. We have both zones set to zero degrees, nothing inside of them. We're starting the big side at 70 degrees, smaller side at 55. I'll check in every hour or so just to see how fast these are dropping and uh, also to check the battery levels on the EcoFlow. All right, catch you guys soon. All right, you guys, checking in about 57 minutes later. We went up from 86% to 87. 120 watts coming in from the solar panels, about 50-ish watts being outputted to the cooler. To give you an idea, this um, EcoFlow River 2 Pro 768 watts doing some quick math 768 if we were to guess up let's say 55 watts is what's being used by the cooler we should be expecting at least 13.9 hours running the cooler from the EcoFlow with no solar panels which is great because I'm planning on using this for uh, an upcoming camping trip, as I mentioned in the first video, mainly because overnight, no sun. So I'm, I'm hoping this can power up my cooler with no issues, which it will absolutely be able to do that. Now, I don't know if it will consume more battery since there's no food in here. So I will be testing that out as well. It did drop from 70 degrees down to 12 degrees on the bigger side. And the smaller side, we started at 55, we're at 18. So it did definitely drop the, uh, the temperature in just under an hour, 58 minutes. Now, typically what I would do is I would probably pre-chill the cooler at home before I connect it to the car and uh, I'm on my way. So that definitely will help it. But it, assuming it's completely just ambient temperature, this will definitely be able to do it. Um, yeah, it's still pulling in 120 watts. You're only using up about 50. And I'm trying to simulate a, a camping environment. I'm not moving the power, uh, the power station or the cooler from the sun, keeping it as is. I'm not rearranging the solar panels, keeping that as is as well. So this is a, a real world test. I'll check back in in about an hour and let you know, let you guys know how it how it turned out. All right, you guys, we're at the two hour mark. We're up to 90%. 124 watts coming in from the solar panel, 43, 45 going out to the cooler. So not too bad. We were at 18 degrees on the bigger side. Now we're at three degrees on the bigger side and three degrees on the smaller side. I think we were at 12, so not too bad. Solar panel, once again, has not been moved. Sun has shifted over and we're still bringing in 123 watts. So it is actively still charging. So I think so far so good. I am happy. All right, you guys, this is a three hour and 20 minute mark uh, check. I did notate it at three hours. We were getting about 103 watts by the solar panels. Now we're getting about 80. The wind did knock it down. So still not bad. Uh, about 32 watts output from the cooler, probably because it is getting close to that temperature. Three degrees large side, one degree smaller side. It probably is pretty much there. I don't think it's, yeah, you can kind of see the little ice particles. It's a little chilly in here. 
and then larger side same thing so definitely works if you have a different type of setup let's say you don't have a uh, eco flow you might have a jackery or a blue eddy um pretty easy to do the conversion to see if it'll last you all day uh you can just say about 40 to 50 watts uh, is what the, the cooler will take. So you can just do the math depending on the type of power station you have. And then also one thing to mention, I set these to zero. So at no point the compressor ever turned off. So that's how much watts is consuming nonstop. If you obviously use it like a fridge, you're probably gonna be using around 30, 35 degrees. The compressor will turn off, which obviously means that it's not going to be drawing power so that calculation i did earlier um would actually make it last longer so there you have it um this is the ecoflow river 2 pro with the 160 watt solar panel and the 83 quart igloo icf dual zone let me know if you guys have any other questions and uh I'll follow up. I do read your comments, so please subscribe. Just want to show you guys this quick little setup. So I actually have it, uh, the cooler plugged into the EcoFlow using about 40 watts. And then I have the EcoFlow charging off of the car. So 106. Um, so same as, very similar to the solar panels. The benefit of that is that when I turn off the car and it's not running, it'll the, the EcoFlow will still be powering up the, the cooler. So that's pretty cool. Obviously you can plug in the cooler directly straight into the car. Uh, no problem, that will also work. But just know that if you shut off the car, the cooler turns off too. So this comes in clutch for sure. I got to just figure out something for our camping setup, how I'm going to tie this down and the battery situation. Most of our stuff is going to go on the, on the top of the car in the roof rack. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks in a uh, 2024 CRV.